Hi, my name is Alex, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the first modulation plugin, which is Chorus. Chorus applies a short modulated delay to give depth and space to an audio signal. The Chorus effect is commonly used on electric guitars, vocals, and keyboards. We'll first use the mix knob to adjust the dry unprocessed signal with the wet process signal. At a value of 100%, we're listening to just the process signal. So by using the rate and depth, we can apply modulation to this guitar track. The rate knob sets the rate of the oscillation for the low frequency oscillator. And with depth, you can adjust the depth of the LFO modulation. So if you want a faster modulation, increase the rate. But if you want a slower one, then decrease the rate and also increase the depth. Then you can blend in some of the dry unprocessed signal. You can also change the low frequency oscillator from being sine wave to triangle. Now let's play with the feedback and pre-delay settings. Feedback sets the feedback amount. Pre-delay delays the chorus signal in milliseconds. If you overdo any of these controls, you can definitely bring the mix knob down. That way it doesn't become so apparent. It basically allows you to overdrive the signal or the process signal and then mix in some of the dry. Okay, lastly, we'll play with the left to right face. So this sets the relative phase of the LFO's modulation in the left and right channels. If you want a mono signal, then let's move this to zero. But if you want to offset the left and right relationship to make it sound more stereo, then increase this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.